Hey guys, how you going? Kieran, T Kieran and Sean, Yeah, Made Adventures. We Hello. have to try again because Sean put it in um, time lapse. Yeah. So what are we doing today? All right, so plan for today. I don't know how many hours we got to work on this, but we're just going to muck around for a while. And but, it's hot. Uh, it's really hot out here. There's that screw I wanted. Um, we're just going to be pulling out the dash. Uh, cleaning up some of the wiring, hopefully getting the heater core out as well, because the heater doesn't work. It hasn't ever worked. It hasn't ever worked. I've, I've flushed it like four times, like not out of the car, and uh, it works for like half an hour, and then goes back to being blocked again. Yeah, so who knows what's so, wrong with it. Yeah, there's something wrong with the heater core, because every time you touch it, it works, and then it doesn't work. So we're going to pull it out, because we've never pulled it out. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to pull the we'll dash out because there's a whole bunch of cables over there on the other side that I want to reroute. So. done that one I, need to wash it. I want to fix all of these because after these we just used to run around the back of the engine and then come down to where the battery was so we'll pull the dash out I'll run the behind the dash um, I can hide all of this stuff behind the dash because we don't need I don't need these anymore I have to put my new boost solenoid in because this one's stuffed and then we might try and clean up a bit and then give it a wash because she's one dirty, dirty, dirty girl. Can I say that on YouTube? Yeah, you can say she's a dirty girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's filthy, so. Has she got a name? Have we named this car before? No, I don't think she does have a name. At least none, not one that has ever been given to her. It's some of the boys. I feel like Violet's a pretty good name. Violet is a pretty good name. I, I like Violet. So if there's anyone who watches our videos and they want it to have a name, they should put it in the comments. <laughs> That's asking for trouble. <laughs> and yes, I'm talking to the boys. <laughs> feel, feel free to post <laughs> some good names. Because this is going to be entertaining. Anything that means she's broken a lot. Oh. I shouldn't say that, should I? Yeah, you shouldn't oh. say that one either. Well, let's go in the video. Yeah. Well, I have to go help my old man real quick. Um... And then I'll come back and start cleaning up all this junk. I'm going to try and get rid of all that. I've also been painting things. So hopefully when she goes back together, she'll look a bit better. But I don't know how I've done it, but I've stuffed up crinkle. I don't know how, but... Yeah, that's something else I'll, I'll look into.
All right, I don't know if you can tell if I'm dying from heat or not, but I am. It's hot out here and it's hotter in here. But as you can see, dash is out. Um, still gotta figure out how to pull the heater core out because I've never done that before. So it's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, cause I'm not exactly sure how to do it, but I'm sure we'll figure it out when we get there. Um, but Kieran wants to tidy up all this wiring, which I don't think a lot of it he can. He wants to tidy up this little bit down here because that's all for the stereo and stuff. And haven't had a stereo in, I don't know how long now, because it's been a while. Um, but as normal, I'm working on the car. Uh, Kieran's nowhere to be seen. Um, but yeah, Dash is out. It took like five minutes. Wasn't wasn't long at all. You've probably seen the time lapse already. So I'm just going to keep cracking on with this and see uh, what else I can get sorted from in here. Because we still don't have the engine back yet. Um, all the machining work's done. All the parts are there. We've just got to put it back together. So that shouldn't take too long to do. And then it'll be engine back in the car all of this cleaned back up back together and it's going to be a process of putting it all back together ready to go out again but yeah it's been uh fun so far as you can tell from the cluster of stuff going on here but should be out shortly dash is sitting there i can't even tell you how many cable ties are holding the thing on like why cable ties why Look, cable tie, cable tie, cable ties everywhere. Drift car life. So Kieran's come back. Uh, he came back at the perfect timing because I had two plugs to undo for the heater core. So here's the uh, fan for all your aircon heating, blah, blah, blah. Right here was the aircon unit, which is uh, on the ground just there. Then next to that, which takes up all of this centerpiece here that's all missing, is our uh, all for the heater box, which is what Kieran's draining out right now. Yeah, it's got gross water in it. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not nice. We've cl tried to clean it out before, but it's not worked. But yeah, all of the dash is out, support bars out, steering columns just hanging there. As you can see, there is uh, not much left in the front of this car at all actually quite roomy now which is weird for a Sylvia <laughs> so he's come back at the perfect timing and now I think he's st he started cleaning up the wiring anyway so he's started doing that but now we're on to battery in the boot and running wires for that and uh, getting it to the front and yeah there's still lots to do on this car so I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there, which is a good thing. So it's still cranking hot out here. I'm just dying in the sun. Kieran's been here for two minutes and he's agreeing with me that he's just dead. Huh? Yeah, I know, me too. Hey guys, Kieran Yeah Made Adventures. So it's a few days after power cruise. Uh, it was awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Probably didn't talk as much as we probably should have during the footage, but you get the gist of it. It was fun. All it did was basically just make me sad because my car wasn't there, but as you can probably tell, we're still a while away. So it's just Kieran Cam today because Sean's at home. I don't even know what Sean's doing, but that's fine. So it's pretty late afternoon, so I probably don't have heaps of time. But I want to sort these cables out. This is one of the goals for today. These ones out. I want to run them through the dash. Or behind the dash as it were. And make them pop out the other side. Because. Well. That one's probably going to stay inside. Because I'm going to run some power inside. But that's my map sensor. My intake air temp sensor. Before they were just running across the back of the engine so now i'm going to run them around we'll be putting the map sensor back to where it was which is here so i can run either down there or there or something and run them around 
Uh, the intake air temperatures could do the same thing. I just got to make sure it's long enough, but I mean, it should be. Uh, I also want to gut my aircon evaporator. So I'll pull that apart, you know, the TX valve and stuff out of it. So then I can put this back in and it'll still work. But I don't have all that extra weight from those things that I don't, don't need. Um, here's all my, I just sprayed this again. I'm trying to make things a little bit pretty. I don't know if I want to use that yet. I might buy a new one. I haven't decided yet. Covered in spider webs. So, yeah, just a couple of uh, little jobs. See if I can't get them out of the way. I've got a new uh, Mac valve. But I want to redo some of that because it's all pretty crappy. And I want to redo this and get rid of half of this because I don't need any of this anymore, basically. We can, we should be able to push most of it back through the hole, so we can get rid of some of the clutter that's in in here. So yeah, a couple of little jobs. See how we go. Hopefully, shouldn't take too long to do, but we'll see. Cool. Well, we'll see what we can do. So run into a minor snag. It's nothing serious, but I just need to extend a couple of cables. So that's my temperature sensor and then extend the one which is that one for the map sensor i just need to make them longer and then run them through there looks horrible in there but that's okay comes with the territory uh this is for my e-boost so i might pull him back as well and then run him down there this one gets to get removed so i might make him Get rid of it out of the middle of the dash and move it into a spot that's probably a bit better. Uh, so I get to pull, I'll pull this apart because I don't need this one. This one is well, needs to stay, but I can at least hide it. I don't know, might even be able to pull it back through. I'm not sure yet, probably not, but that's okay. Um, there are the two cables for my. Uh, Mac valve, so I get to make them pretty. Might even wire up the new one. We'll see. I don't have any cable, which is annoying, but I need to grab some. I can do that tomorrow or something. Yeah, what else do I want to do? They might have time to do. I can't remember. I got a full Chase Bay's power steering cooler and a new reservoir and stuff. So I'm going to have to look up how that goes together because there's a lot of things going on. I think I'm going to get to remove all this, but I need to double check how exactly they want to run it. So I might look that up and see what I can do. Yeah, I might do that. What do you reckon, Pop? Hmm? Hey, what's up? So... I've managed to get all of the power steering lines out. Now, yeah, this is the high pressure line, and that little fitting will go into the rack. So I'll do put him in, and then this one is the low pressure line. So this one will go from there to the cooler, which is here. Now, for my friends that watch my channel, where would you just put your power steering core? Because I know everyone mounts them underneath there, but I'm going to put an oil cooler too. And I was toying with the idea of putting it somewhere in there. I don't know if it goes like this. Because I'll still be able to get the fittings and stuff on it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I put like a bar or something. A piece of flat bar between there and there. And then mount him like that somewhere. I'm gonna have to do a bit more looking. Where'd you guys put it? Let me know. Because I don't really know. I'd like to put the oil cooler next to it too, in a spot. And there seems reasonable. I assume it would work. I'm sure it would be fine, but I don't actually know. Yeah. Let me know. So, unfortunately, I'm running out of light ish which you might be able to see can you see yeah it's getting pretty dark and the mosquitoes are coming out so 
I don't really want to be out, out here anymore. But this is where we got up to. Hopefully you can see. So we got our high pressure line. So we're running down across here. Currently tucked underneath there, but we should be able to come up and be pretty close to where our pump should be. So it looks okay. And then low pressure line comes across here. We should. Like I said, I was thinking about mounting that cooler somewhere in this vicinity, which is very broad. But I don't know yet. But I've got, because I want to run, we've got an, we're going to put an oil cooler in at the same time. So if the lines can run in a similar direction and they can sit semi next to each other, I mean, it'll look nice, but hopefully the thing works. That's the important thing. I don't know yet. So that could run up and then go on to our cooler somehow around here somewhere and then the lines are long enough to get to the reservoir which will sit around here because they give you a new one with a nice little little bracket so he's gonna sit in here so my old one was on a little custom made thing bracket that's what it's called and would sit there somewhere because I can't stick him in the normal place because that's where my catch can goes so I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. So that happened. Uh, it turns out that's the other line that'll go to the cooler and then back to the reservoir. So I still need to do reservoir wiring. I didn't do what I wanted to do, but we ended up doing something else, so that's okay. Turns out, well, that was for the aircon. I don't need that. That's that sensor that goes to the old power steering line, which I no longer have, so I'm not using that anymore. This I can hide. Hopefully, well, I'm going to try and figure out something to do there. I was hoping to be able to bring it back through the dash, but I doubt that's going to happen. So I've got to figure out a way to run it and hide it. Maybe tuck it in underneath there somewhere, underneath the wiper motor. And then that's for the boost control solenoid back from Mac valve. So I can redo that because I'm pretty sure they just taped together because I did that a long time ago. So I can basically delete all this extra cable, ditch all that. Uh, that's the harness for my, uh, I think that comes around to the front of the engine. Yeah, so there's a TPS. TPS? Yeah. And then this is the plug that goes to my R35 coils, which I now have. So I don't actually need this. I can amalgamate, hide that somewhere. I need to go grab some cable so I can reattach my sensors so they can go to that side and do that. But yeah, so that'll be it for this video, I think. Power cruise should have already happened. And then maybe in the next video I might do it while I'm doing stuff. I'll sit down and talk about the goods and the bads of power cruise because power cruise is awesome, but there's obviously things that can be done or things that people don't won't like, but we'll get into that in another video so yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe let me know what you think let me know where you've put your cooler or where you would put your cooler i'm interested to know because i'm sort of stuck and don't really know where to put it but yeah we'll see you on the next one